I'm having a little fever and Marco has a headache. And Arcus destroyed the city and it was truly unsafe. I'm Marco from the Philippines. And I'm Fran from Argentina. We've been traveling the world full time since 2018, trying all different kinds of travel lifestyles, backpacking, hitchhiking, house sitting, and in 2020, we decided to pursue our dream of living the RV life. We bought a 1985 Toyota RV, renovated it, and we drove it from United States to Mexico. We had a very rough start here in Mexico. We needed to deal with lots of mechanical repairs and ended up in a city with a very sad and shocking history. Okay, bad news. We just started our journey in Mexico and uh, one of the tires blew. Okay, this is a very beautiful start for our adventures here in Mexico. Huh? We just like Okay, since we left very early this morning, we didn't have breakfast, we just had some fruits and now we are very hungry and Marco will uh, change the tires and that will take lots of his energy. So we are going to take it easy, I'm preparing here some toast and mate and hopefully this gives him some energy. Oh my god, <laughs> hopefully we can move forward today. In this moment, I'm having a little fever and Marco has a headache. So we are really working on staying positive and taking things easy. A quick tip, guys. Um, we bought a SIM card right after we crossed. And that was something very useful because I was able to call the insurance. So that's something that if you're crossing, make sure that as soon as you cross, buy a SIM card. So, you know, in case anything happens, like it happened to us, you can call the insurance. So dirty. Yeah. We're able to drive to the nearest gas station. And we can probably use the phone here or load some data to research and call some mechanic on where we can uh, fix the or buy new tires. The closest tire shop we found was in Allende, a small town less than an hour from the border. It was kind of bit run down with many abandoned houses. This beer, I cannot explain. So uh, we found a tire shop, so we ordered the tires. We should be arrived tomorrow morning, so they can replace the tires tomorrow. And then, after that, we need to check the suspension. So we went to the tire shop and they were able to find our tires very specific for the RV so they were able to get them and now we are going so they can install the new tires and we can have everything fixed so we already fixed the tires and when we were leaving the place actually uh, a local approached us and he actually explained to us that Allende was a uh, part of uh, like a TV show in Netflix called Somos where they show how the narcos destroyed the city and it was truly really unsafe I don't know we need to watch it so he was like you know now it's different so if you wanna, if you make a video please express how you felt in Allende and actually we were talking with Marco before that that the city seems pretty safe I mean we felt really welcome people are very helpful they're yeah. very sincere and nice so um, you know like now that we met this local, making this video m means even more, you know, like because sometimes because of the things we watch in TV or, you know, uh, everywhere, sometimes we become too scared. But in reality, sometimes things are different. And that's what actually traveling taught us, that there is a bunch of very good people in this world. OK, guys, we have some good news. We found a mechanic that can fix the suspension and the muffler. So we're gonna stay one more night here so that we can have that fixed tomorrow. And we have a very cool plan for tonight. We are gonna watch the TV show called Somos about what happened with the narcos here based on real events back in 2011 so we can understand a bit more about what happened here in Allende. Good morning.
It's 7 a.m. Almost. That we watched yesterday, uh, Somos in Netflix. Uh, it was shocking. It was very sad, yes. very horrible. The narcos they killed innocent people, even teenagers. All because there is one guy that lives in Ashende, had a contract with the narcos, and then they killed many people in Ashende. Anyway, if you guys get the chance, watch that TV show. Um, I think it's. Uh, it's still an ongoing problem here in Mexico and we'll see how we continue our journey in Mexico. Um, okay, let's um, let's get Amy fixed and we start driving again. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. and we brought Amy to the mechanic, Xavier. This is a mechanic that specializes on the metal parts of the vehicle, right? Metal parts underneath. It's called Fragua. And uh, we're gonna check on Amy's suspension, what it went, and they're gonna make uh, Amy higher and they're gonna balance uh, Amy so we're leveled out when we're inside Amy uh, and they're gonna check underneath also all the metal parts so this is an interesting tire it's like it's just like their backyard basically <laughs> there's a bunch of junk in their junk shop and but it's a tire and thanks again to Viaje de Ida, our friends Juli, Nacho and Nachi because we are doing this because of them. They suggested this because they did it in their army. So thank you guys. Well, the best part is uh, how much this is gonna cost. One thousand five hundred pesos. In dollars. Seventy five dollars. So we are very happy. So I think uh, it's gonna take almost the whole day to fix all the suspension. So we're gonna find a coffee shop here in the small town of Allende. So we found out last night that uh, here in Allende, uh, the narcos took over the city in 2011. So we're interested to know about the city. Who would say we will end up here? <laughs> <laughs> Now I think ready. Emmy is ready. <laughs> ready for more travels. For more adventures. The good thing is that Mexico is full of mechanics and everyone is recommending you know someone else who is specializing the thing that we need so that makes things easier so yeah and also it's cheap yeah that's really helpful so thank you mexico thank you <laughs> and maybe please give us a break <laughs> we are leaving allende guys oh my god i lost track of the day how many days we've been here but i guess like three to four days probably we got everything fixed for amy so we are ready to continue heading south here in Mexico. Thank you so much, Allende. You were so nice and you welcome us in the best possible way. So thank you so much. Bueno, Marco, contanos un poco. ¿Cómo fueron tus primeros días en México? Muy bien. Se vieron muy bien con la gente. Gente muy buena onda, ¿no? Y la comida, muy buena. Uh, el mecánico. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe to continue mapping the unknown with us.